Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Good morning, Dr. Yoon. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's my I pleasure. Know, Thank you. <laughs> I know you have some esoteric things to talk about. We'll talk about double chins this morning with you. What can you tell us about that? Well, what we found is that there was a survey that we looked at uh, of 20 or 2,000 adults ages 18 to 65. And what we found is that pretty shockingly, 47% of the population dislikes the area of the chin, the area underneath the chin, and found that, that it actually a good percentage of those are taking steps to try to hide it and conceal that area. Okay. What are some of the remedies for, for that area called the double chin? Well, there's literally a lot of people are, are doing things actively to try to avoid being seen with it. So people are avoiding taking photos of the area. 29% uh, of men are actually growing goatees or beards to try to hide it. But if you would have asked me two or three years ago, Dr. Yoon, I've got a double chin, and let's say I, I eat right, I exercise, I'm at a good weight, what can I do about it? The only option I would have given you a few years ago is surgery, is liposuction. But the great thing is we do have a substance now, a treatment that is non-surgical, FDA approved, to permanently get rid of that excess fat under the chin, and it's called Kybella. Okay, and how long does Kybella take to remove the double chin? Well, Kybella does necessitate multiple treatments, and we typically space them every four weeks apart at least, sometimes more. Um, in the study, found, the study found upwards of six, six treatments may be necessary for people. In my practice, I found a minimum of two treatments, sometimes up to four, even up to six. Okay. What kind of price point are we talking about? Well, it all, it all is based off of where you live. So, you know, Dallas being a metropolitan area is going to be a little more expensive there than, let's say, in Des Moines or the Heartland. Um, but it does cost anywhere from $600 or more per treatment, depending on how much you're having done and who performs the treatment. Can I ask you, is it covered by insurance? This is not covered by insurance. This is a cosmetic treatment. should be done by a board-certified plastic surgeon or dermatologist, not something that you can do at home. Uh, or uh, let's say you should do, let's say, in a spa setting where there aren't physicians or nurses present. And you say you've done many of these in your practice? Yeah, we've treated a lot of patients, and we found really consistently good results with it. Um, you know, I mean, really, people don't want to have surgery if they don't need to, and this area underneath the chin is an area that vexes so many of us um, that it's been so exciting to be able to offer this treatment that does not necessitate going under the knife. And, and it really works, and those results, unlike a lot of the other injections that we do that are so popular, these results are permanent. Oh, we like that. Dr. Oon, where can my audience find out more information about this? Well, you definitely want to go to mykybella.com because you have to find a doctor that is certified to do it, that has been trained the right way. mykybella.com, M-Y-K-Y-B-E-L-L-A.com. And I'm sure it's available in Dallas, Texas, right? Oh, I'm sure it is. Thank you, Dr. Oon. I appreciate you coming on. Hey, thanks for having me on.